prepare yourself for the sound of happiness. Ah, doesn't that feel good? Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 41 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. Here on the title screen we've got a couple things to talk about. First, Yoshi Yuli has come out with version 1.04 and released a pen to disc 2. Both of those avail are available as free downloads and I'll hook you up with those in my description. As well as the Zap Interface Translation. Those guys I spoke of earlier have gotten their interface translation out, so I'll have a link to that as well. I won't be using it because I like my and like my games raw, but if it's something you desire, go ahead and avail yourself of it. And maybe before I load, you'll know my save has append 01 attached to it. The next time I save, it'll show a pen one and a pen two. So one of the appended appendas is this. This girl's come with requests before, and this one's no exception. So thanks a bunch. All right, her story was the whole that the castle pulled itself out of now has some goblinoids taking up residence, so we get to check that out. And that's a new map over in that southwest dungeon. So let's see what Deed has to say. On this particular day, Avaro is searching out Deed in order to start with him on a project. Finds him, and he's already talking to somebody. And then, and then what happened next? Detail's quoting somebody. <clears throat> as long as you live, you can't trust other people. He, people are as long as they live. And at the very end, they are alone. Avaro feels like he's heard these words before. That's quite a statement. Especially from that day onwards, he was in Deet's care. Exactly. <laughs> so, he was just right about that. Right after saying this, he ended up being taken care of by somebody anyway. So at that time he called the guy out, saying that he should try and make some friends and stop trying to act cool. So then, what did the guy say? Well, quote, sorry, but I'm not going to be your friend. Trying to get into relationships with people on a superficial level is not interesting at all. End quote. So, and in the end, he met Fia. And with the, just that, he turned around. This is making Avaro sweat. Oh, how independent. This independent half elf who won't rely on anybody. And 
And in the end, he said, I'm not going to borrow your hands. I live on my own, up to now and from now on. And let's just have a laugh about that. Oi, I can tell whom you're talking about here. Yeah, as if Avara hadn't figured it out. If he had name drops him. Alright, cool. Detail will tell you everything you want to know. Especially Avara's embarrassing bits. Alright, Avara's gonna butt in now. And stop people talking about people's past without... <coughs> Excuse me. Without permission. Oh, Avaro, what are you doing here? You making that innocent face just because you're cute and all. Damn goddess. Okay. He has some business to attend to with Deed. So, what are you doing here, Fia? Well, Fia was thinking that even though she and Navarro are lovers, he, she really doesn't know much about him. And that's not good. So, she decided to ask Deed, who has known Navarro for so long. Alright, please just ask me normally, okay? And Deed. Don't go pulling people's black histories out, okay? <laughs> well, if we're talking about researching other people's pasts, you've done it yourself, haven't you? You don't think you're a little hypocritical trying to get me to stop? Um, well, that's true after a fashion. But still, this is really embarrassing. So, whom did of our own research? Well, he was asking about Fia herself. Jeez, he's so passionate. Well, she's happy. Avaro wanted to know more about her. Although it'd be alright if she if he asked her directly. Hey, don't give that this condescending smile. And anyway, you don't have any memories, so even if I wanted to ask anything, you wouldn't be able to make a conversation of it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Did you forget that too? Oh, but she's glad he came and asked Deed about this. Since Avaro back then was so much different than the gentleman she met when she woke. Well, people change as they go on. And as you continue age among people, you start to understand that. So, when he met Deedhelm, Avaro had already sharpened himself against people. Look, I was young, okay? And he started acting all cool and shit. I <clears throat> life is wasting your time until you die, isn't it? And stuff. Well, moon gazing of all things. Okay, knock it off. 
This is going to take a while. Well, he's learned a lot about life, hasn't he? So, that's true. Back at that time, he was just a brat who hadn't lived very long. What the hell is this guy saying? D thought. Alright, fine. If that's what you thought, then tell it to me back then. <laughs> so. This pastafaro seems kind of cute to Fia. Anything else? Give me the good stuff. Sure, he's got plenty. For example, <clears throat> lately, the world has been re trying to reject me. The elf blood coursing through my veins is saying, you have no place in the world. There. All right. And anyway, why do you remember this stuff? He thought he'd be able to use it someday. So he took notes. And he's glad he found the opportunity. I'm not glad. And you remember the most piddling crap. Bastard. Nah. Fia thinks that that Avaro was cute. She'd like to meet him back then. Yeah, too bad. He's dead. And D, seriously, give me a break. Hmm, well. And since Deet remembers this stuff, even if he himself wanted to forget it, his past doesn't disappear like that. Thea should rem remember that point. Yeah, Afias thinks that if there was anybody that did remember her, that would be nice. Well, if you're asking for human bodies to remember you, that might be unrealistic. But there must be something somewhere. There were these ruins that God slept in, and there has to be some kind of something remaining. And you don't need to worry since you got somebody so reliable looking into the matter for you. Yep. Fia is thankful for that. Alright. Deet. Let's get to work. Quickly. He doesn't want this to go any longer. Alright then. Avaro as well as I in the end are always alone. So, let's hold hands and cooperate, huh? I'm saying give me a break here, seriously. What the hell was I thinking back then? So, at that parting from Fia, he put all of his effort into the work so that he could forget what happened here. But that works for us. <laughs> So, training up my Yuiki. The short version of this is I'm going from left to right. 
この子たちに協力完了したよ、うん、この子たちに完了したよ承知した Perhaps I should plan this a little better, but I'm not going to. You are crazy, Yorin. Darkness. Hmm. Hi. Well, as long as they're not building up, I think we're good. Oh, we got a new plan. I think this is part of the append data as well. This is the Suima shield. I can't build it yet. I need to find some Paul steel. And I have. I fought enemies that dropped that other thing, but they didn't drop before me that time. Anyway, its quote says that in the equipment link, if you do it right, you can get a Suima-style capture magic skill, which will be useful. Yes. If it's got if it's got range like Fia's capture skill, that would be nice. And here's that new map we got in the append data. It's pretty simple, so let's get to it. Hmm. I want to deploy two characters over to the left and two characters up to the north. Oops. I should have rearranged Mikayu's equipment before I did that. Oh, I am so smart. Except I completely forgot. Okay. Melee. Superpowers. In this first fight, I want her to take out this enemy in front of her. Hmm. Now there are two kinds of enemies you'll see in here. These gray looking ones and these brown looking ones. The brown looking ones are a little easier and the gray looking ones will actually beat up Mikayu if I don't have her equipped properly. Yes, Alright, this should do. But fortunately Mikayu has her superpower skill. So let's take out this first one with that. Nine times three. We should be able to do this in two battles. Well, easy as that. I want to try and capture these enemies. But that means I'll have to de equip Mikayu's uh, big defense ring and put on the capture rope, making it a lot more dangerous for her to actually fight these guys. Fortunately, she's got 100% hit rate, so this first hit will kill it. Bingo. And the reason I'm deploying two characters at once is in case some of the enemies try and get by the first one, I can still kill their asses. I didn't equip a varo. Okay. Rope. I need to make him a new hammer. Well, it's a giant wrench, but... I still feel the need to have it for him. Oh yes. Obviously I'm trying to level up my low-level characters. With the exception of Katorito. She's level 1, obviously, but I'm hoping in this game there's going to be a mob wintering, and 
I want to bring her up right, so I want to make sure I'm always using the Maul Lunar Ring when I'm fighting with, with her. Well, when she's leveling up at least. These guys are weaker than those other guys, so it'll be safer to have her fighting like this. Not really, really safe, but safer. Are those jerks seriously just going to walk on by? I hate elves. Well, they're still goblinoids, but I still hate them. Where was I? Okay, guys to capture. But they have too much hit points to get this turn. The next turn I'll take it seriously. Mikayu, can you do this? Ten, ten. Yes, she can. Healing. Die, motherfucker! Hmm. Twelve. Ha. Huh. How inconvenient. I need to get a critical hit to kill it, otherwise it'll be left with one hit point. Sweet! Sometimes my luck just pulls through for me. Okay. I'm hoping I can get Mikio to gain, gain a level out of this L map. Oh, he's going to do it, is he? Okay, 10 to him, got it. Easy. These guys have anti-air capabilities and Ruin is always flying. I can't unequip it, so it's a bit harsh to be accepting attacks on them. But hell, if I need to I can heal his ass. His stupid, ugly, arrogant ass. Again with the running away. Now oh, where was I? Hundred percent. All right. Remember when we sacrificed five of those giants to him in order to give him eight attack more? That was giants well spent. I could seal that thing, but maybe it'll kick out another enemy for me to kill. I was getting a pretty decent quantity of leveling out of this. Huh. Hmm. In order to kill this guy, I think I'm going to summon up Karin. Uh. Hmm. Let's see, 17. This is 6. So she'd be taking... Probably 18 damage. Probably. Things should be alright. 
Well, if anything goes wrong while it's their turn, I can always turn back the clock. Hmm, yeah, six damage. And only two attacks if I use this, so she should be okay. I wouldn't want to try a capture right now. Attacking Ruin. I want Avaro to get the kills here, if possible. Eight, eight, twenty-four. Potentially, she could win with this. And they're unlikely to get enough combos or crits to kill her. Yeah. Alright, sorry Mikayu, I'll heal you up. It would have been nice if I could I've gotten through this map without using any healing potions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright! You suck. Magic defense. One point of magic defense. Huh. Oh. I'll leave it. Maybe it'll spit out an enemy. Alright, let's spit out some secondary characters so we can get this map explored a little faster. There's an enemy down there, if I remember. Capture him! Capture him! Oh, nice! Magic attack, magic defense, speed, and luck. Couldn't ask for anything more, except she's using physical attacks right now. Alright, time to tackle these super goblins. You'll note there are two stars. They're male. Or are the other ones? Well, who knows. Let's see. Oh, those are males too. I always thought they were kind of asexuals. Okay. Now I don't want Mikeu taking that. So I'm gonna have Mikeu swap over to attack mode. So those goblins are going to run right over to Kabin. Wasted their energy, but that's the way I like it. And then Miki is going to snipe them. Sweet. Hmm. All right. Twenty-four times two. Most likely they will survive this, because Karin doesn't very often get critical hits. His luck is too low. Leaving those enemies in the perfect state to be killed by Mikeu. Hmm. Actually, come to think of it, they aren't. But I can fix it that way. By equipping the holding back ring on Fia and attacking. Fia is simply too powerful. Seriously. Free capture. Hmm. 
Brooding you keep. You know what? I'm tired of looking at you. Well, that doesn't take long when we're talking about Rurin Yuiki. Seiyatsu Hmm. So those two are the herb gathering points. Hey, this must be a mining point then. Sweet. Hmm. As I recall, there aren't any secret doors in this level. I mean, it'd be nice if there were secret doors. Hmm. There should be a few more enemies around up north. Huh. Since Karen's going to be down here for a few turns, I think I'll have Ranarin tanking for Mikeu once Mikeu arrives. All right, running, showtime. Hmm, I thought they'd be more of the masked ones. And boy. I was able to get her some physical resistance, so they aren't going to do much to her. Alright, let's go all out on these bastards. Well, all out after a fashion. Ron will have to stay there. Simply because Mikeu can't move two squares if there's only that enemy in the room. Hmm. Maybe I should hold back a little. Oh! I just remembered something. Renin also has this skill. A healing skill just like Fia's. You bitch. Okay, I've done all my gathering, so all that's left is to have Mikeu capture these enemies. Shit. Unusually spunky. And well, nothing for you to do this turn. Time. 
Oh. There must be a hidden room. Because I'm certain it was right here. Alright, so we are running low on enemies. And we're almost done with the map. Now I need to get all of the... Goddess cards for that reward at the end. Now, I just sent her back this turn. Oh, jeez, one of these guys. But... Why didn't they attack Ravara last turn? Do they realize they're outclassed and actually not want to draw his attention? Probably a good plan. Let's see, 9 damage times 2. Sure, go for it. Actually, I'll leave off of Mikeu's leveling up and leave the rest to Avaro. Mm. He does need the levels. Uh, this is a certain kind of mud. And I've gotten a lot of that before, I think. Okay, Mikeu. You did well. But it's of always time to shine now. Get a critical hit, get a critical hit, get a critical hit. Damn it. Okay, one more turn then. Yeah, the goblinoid didn't attack me again. Weird. Well, if she's got a long-range attack, may as well use it. You know, let's take a look. He's got 20 defense, they got 17 attack. Maybe looking wasn't even worth it. Yep, Favaro can finish this off. You! Jeez. Alright, so as you can see, the whole map is mine. Except for this one guy. We'll get to him in a moment. And by in a moment, I mean... We aren't going to get to him. As you can see, there's no door here. There's no door here. And there's no door down here into the areas where we'd be able to capture that guy. Get through to that guy. So, until you get teleportation, that's that annoying skill that ghosts use to travel through walls. We can't fight this guy. No hidden fascists there. I'm pretty sure I've checked down here. So, we're SOL. And this guy would probably kick our ass anyway. So, thanks a bunch everybody, we're done here.
So that's that map. And now we got something. We can tell it's a battle beforehand though. A free map waiting for us here and some kind of event waiting for us here. Oh, I can't wait. But you'll have to. With that, I'll see you next time, YouTube. Append 1, append 2.